Man, the readings are off the chart. This place is spooky. Man, what is there? never seen that before. It's a... <laughs> hey, it's an exciting day. Check out what came. A ghost meter. Amazon sent me a ghost meter. These are the instruments that uh, you see in reality TV when somebody's trying to find their ancestors in the dark. Actually, EMF meters measure electronic magnetic fields. And we'll get into that stuff in just a minute. But uh, exciting. Let's check this out and see what affects it. And let's just play with it. Let's get it open. So I've got it out of the package. It's pretty neat. It's pretty simple as well. There's one button and a meter that goes from zero to five milligauss. On the back, you can see it's clear. You can see the battery and the electronics and the speaker. So the way that you use this is you hold it away from electronics or other items, and then you turn it on. And then it calibrates it for that area. And there's a volume control right here for the beeping. And when it pegs over into the, the red area, which would be around two to five milligauss, it begins to beep. So a way that you can actually set this off, hence the name EMF, electrical will set it off. This is a UPS power supply that emits quite a bit of EMF. So let's put it near it. So you can see that the closer I get, the more it reacts. Because this is emitting EMF. Manufacturers of electronics try to reduce EMF because it can interfere with radio frequencies and cell phones and that sort of thing. But uh, some items, especially older items, do emit EMF because strict regulations weren't in effect in the early years. As well as the electrical, also magnets. This is a magnet out of a speaker. So it's both magnetic as well as electrical. And that's how this thing works. Pretty simple, really. Let's take our tester and check some stuff. Here we are at the video editing computer. Let's see what happens. Yep. That really emits a lot. What about this Dell monitor? No, nothing. Something that will probably really set this off is my fuse box. Let's go try that. Here we are at my fuse box. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, it's going nuts. Look at that. So yeah, some older homes will have more uh, EMF than newer ones. And that has to do with the, the way that the cable is shielded and many other variables so yeah playing with this emf meter has been a lot of fun while i don't know if it can find spirits it was a lot of fun to learn about emfs you know during the holiday season of halloween i like it especially because there's some really weird unusual gadgets that you can't find any other time of year I mean, it's like this pet bat. Where else can you find a pet bat except for in October? And so that's why I like Halloween. I think it's also worth noting that older structures, older buildings tend to emit more EMFs. And that's partially because of regulations back in the day didn't require as much shielding around wire. 
Hence, older buildings are going to be spookier and EMF filled. And I think that's one of the reasons why haunts are more successful in older buildings. That's just my opinion. So a link to this product will be found in the video description below for Amazon. Hey, and you can go and get your own EMF meter for 20 bucks. Leave your comments and suggestions below. And thanks for watching. Happy Halloween. I want to remove this mask and see who the villain is. Shadow, you scared me. Ha 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 